Life often presents us with a myriad of challenges that can cause discomfort and distress. The typical response to these challenges is to throw ourselves headlong into solving them, assuming that exerting maximum effort will lead to success. However, if this approach were truly effective, why do so many people find themselves facing one problem after another? The belief that life is a constant struggle requiring continuous hard work can be both disheartening and exhausting. This essay explores a different perspective on how we deal with life's challenges, particularly those related to financial struggles. By shifting our focus from external problems to internal emotional states, we may discover more effective and fulfilling ways to address our perceived problems and enhance our overall well-being. Traditionally, we tend to approach life's challenges with the mindset that hard work and effort will lead to solutions. While diligence is important, it may not be the most effective approach in every situation. Continually facing new challenges, despite our efforts, suggests that we need to reconsider our mindset. One possible reason for the persistence of challenges is the belief that life is meant to be a constant struggle, with nothing achieved without hard work. This belief can lead to a sense of exhaustion and hopelessness. By adopting a different perspective that emphasizes hope and a more balanced approach to challenges, we may find ourselves better equipped to handle life's difficulties. Financial struggles are a common experience for many people, often leading to feelings of anxiety, worry, and stress. Traditional methods of addressing money problems involve focusing on the issue and striving hard to find a solution. However, this approach can intensify negative emotions and make it difficult to find satisfactory resolutions. Focusing on financial problems can trap us in a state of mind that revolves around the issue, limiting our ability to shift to a solution-focused mindset. This state makes it challenging to find creative or effective answers to our problems. The true issue is not necessarily a lack of money, but rather our emotional response to our financial situation. While this may sound counterintuitive to those who value practical solutions, let's explore this idea further. The true pain of a money problem is not just the numbers in your bank account, it is the negative emotions associated with it, such as anxiety, worry, and stress. These emotions are what make us perceive our financial situation as a problem. For many people, the real challenge is not facing starvation, but the inability to maintain a certain lifestyle they desire. Imagine feeling peaceful and content with your life, regardless of your financial situation, would you still perceive an urgent problem? It's possible to achieve a sense of peace and contentment even without having everything you think you need. Similarly, people with ample material wealth often still experience anxiety, depression, stress and anger, indicating that emotional well-being does not necessarily correlate with material wealth. The core problem is not our external circumstances, but our emotional response to them. What if changing how we feel about our situation could be the key to solving our problems? Instead of focusing on external issues like money, we could focus on altering our internal emotional state. This shift in perspective may prove more effective in addressing our perceived problems. By prioritizing our emotional well-being, we may find that our external circumstances become less daunting. Imagine shifting your focus away from problems and towards something that brings you joy. Visualize the feeling of your problem already being solved, whether it's peace, happiness, or abundance. When negative thoughts arise, gently guide yourself back to these positive feelings. This approach may sound unconventional, but consider how long you've been trying to solve your most significant problem using traditional methods. Reflect on the time and energy spent on worry and distress without achieving a solution. If worry and overthinking were effective, wouldn't the problem have been solved by now? Instead, treat this as an experiment. Prioritize feeling good in the present moment. Close your eyes and realize that everything is fine right now. Focus on finding peace within yourself. This doesn't mean suppressing your emotions. It's important to acknowledge and process your painful emotions. However, avoid dwelling on them or letting them grow beyond their initial impact. Worrying can be addictive so if it's difficult to stop immediately, allow yourself a set time each day to worry. For instance, allocate 15 minutes for worry each day. 
but for the rest of the day, refrain from indulging in it. Over time, as you notice your day-to-day -day experience improving, you may naturally reduce your worry time, eventually eliminating it altogether. It's important not to misinterpret this approach as an endorsement of abandoning reason or ceasing to think critically. Reason and critical thinking are essential components of our lives. However, the problem lies in repetitive, unproductive thinking that stems from emotional responses. This type of thinking often leads us in circles without making real progress. True effective thinking should be free from the distortions of emotional responses. Many people struggle with the same problems throughout their lives because their thinking about these problems is influenced by the emotions associated with them. This intertwining of emotional and cognitive processes makes our thought patterns part of the problem rather than part of the solution. What is more rational spending a lifetime engulfed in worry and anxiety, hoping problems will disappear so you can feel good or choosing to feel as good as possible right now and living your life based on that state of well-being. The latter approach offers a more direct path to peace and contentment. Thinking is undoubtedly valuable, but not all forms of thinking are helpful. Worrying, for instance, is a type of thinking based on negative what-if scenarios. It doesn't contribute to solving problems instead, it can deteriorate our well-being. Terence McKenna aptly stated that worry is preposterous. This highlights that worrying is an irrational response that doesn't align with effective problem solving. Fostering a positive state of mind and using clear, rational thinking free from negative emotions can lead to better solutions and improved overall quality of life. By prioritizing positivity, we open ourselves up to new perspectives and creative solutions. Many people believe that action is the key to solving problems. If you're facing an issue and know exactly what to do to fix it, then certainly taking action is appropriate. However, if the solution to your problem is clear and actionable, why does the problem still exist? The answer lies in the fact that action alone is not the ultimate solution. No amount of external action can truly make up for what's misaligned internally. This doesn't mean that taking action can't solve problems, it simply means that action alone won't lead to a life free from worry. Imagine working hard to succeed and make a lot of money despite your fears and worries. But then new worries emerge fears of losing that money, how to invest it wisely, or how to protect it from external factors like taxes or economic downturns. In this scenario, you've moved from one problem to another in a seemingly endless cycle. If mere action were the solution to all problems, logically, we would have solved them by now. Yet, People are constantly rushing, striving, and struggling, often without making substantial progress in alleviating their fundamental issues. If you're already feeling exhausted from constant effort, why would the solution be to try even harder? Instead of continuing the cycle of frantic activity, it may be time to pause and reflect on what you truly want. This introspection can provide clarity and direction that may not come from external action alone, by understanding your true desires and aligning your actions with them, you may find a more effective and fulfilling way to address your challenges. To achieve a sense of inner peace, begin by acknowledging your emotional state and processing your painful emotions without dwelling on them. This practice can help you develop a greater sense of emotional resilience and perspective. Meditation, mindfulness, and other practices can be valuable tools for cultivating inner peace and reducing worry. By incorporating these practices into your daily life, you can begin to shift your focus away from external problems and toward your internal emotional state. Gratitude is a powerful tool for transforming your emotional state and improving your overall well-being. By focusing on what you have rather than what you lack, you can cultivate a sense of abundance and contentment. This shift in perspective can help you navigate life's challenges with greater ease. Developing resilience is another key aspect of navigating life's challenges. By building emotional and psychological resilience, you can better withstand the ups and downs of life and maintain a sense of balance and perspective. Taking care of yourself physically, emotionally, and mentally is essential for maintaining a positive state of mind. Prioritizing self-care can help you manage stress and anxiety more effectively. 
allowing you to approach challenges with greater clarity and focus. Consider this alternative approach to your spiritual journey. By prioritizing your emotional well-being and aligning your internal state with your true desires, you may experience a more meaningful and fulfilling journey. Shifting your focus away from external problems and toward your internal emotional state can lead to a greater sense of peace and contentment. This shift may also provide new perspectives and creative solutions to your challenges. Ultimately, the journey towards spiritual growth and fulfillment is deeply personal. By embracing a mindset of peace, gratitude and resilience, you can navigate life's challenges with greater ease and find greater meaning in your journey. If you found this message valuable, share it with your loved ones and share your experience in the comment section. I hope you have a beautiful day ahead.